so we will look at some more interesting problems and one thing is a little bit inverted problem so that is limit to sine inverse x by 3x as x tends to 0 so now this is interesting okay so now we have some inverse functions that makes you feel a little in difficulty okay but we will solve that so again for every problem think do we know something similar so let us have theta is equal to sine inverse x basically sine inverse x is an angle whose sine is x okay and theta is between what so it is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay so this you have to check a little bit then what happens now if x tends to 0 it means what the theta is also tending to 0 isn't it if the angle is if the sine of some angle is tending to 0 then the angle is also tending to 0 so now this becomes limit so 2 theta by 3 and x is sine of theta okay and as x tends to 0 so theta also tends to 0 so now what happens limit theta tends to 0 2 by 3 into 1 by sine of theta by theta okay and this we already know that this is 1 limit of this function is 1 so limit of this function as theta tends to 0 is 2 by 3 okay 2 1 is equal to 2 by 3 so this is the limit okay next we will look at some more problems so that you really get what how to solve the limits of trigonometric functions okay so let's see so one problem one more problem is 1 minus cos q x by x sine of 2x x tends to 0 so what should be done so always try to find some relation okay so now this is a q minus b q form so so first of course try to substitute the values so x is 0 denominator becomes 0 numerator becomes 0 this is of the form 0 by 0 so now we need to simplify and put some common factors out from the numerator and denominator so 1 minus cos of x 1 plus cos x plus cos square x okay and this becomes x and let's put everything in form of sine of x and cos x so 2 sine of x cos of x okay and limit x tends to 0 okay this looks fine now what so this x tends to 0 then this is coming out to be some constant which is 3 1 minus cos x by x do we know the limit of this one okay we had solved a problem recently and that was 
limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x square we see something similar here so if i put x square then this becomes x great now this also limit we know isn't that great so now i know both these limits cos x in the denominator has no problem it is 1 so x tends to 0 1 minus cos x by x square this limits of fx let us have this as the first function we will put a color green here so this part this is one function let's say f of x this is our next function so this one is the next function and these two are very easy to evaluate function okay so this becomes limit x tends to 0 so one half we already have this limit is also half sin x by x is 1 and this if we put the value x is 0 so this becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 by 1 so this is equal to 3 by 4 and this is the answer for the limit okay so this is a good question that revised quite a lot of things for you okay so next we look at one more problem okay so this will be one of the last few questions so let's see it so this question is quite interesting here limit use some different color sine of x minus pi by 6 by root 3 minus 2 cos of x x tends to pi by 6 so first always try to substitute so root 3 minus 2 cos of pi by 6 so this is root 3 by 2 so root 3 minus root 3 it becomes 0 sine of pi by 6 minus pi by 6 so this is 0 by 0 form you have to simplify okay simplify the expression cancel out some common terms so let's see as we already have so many limits for trigonometric functions for x tends to 0 so why not here also try to put a x tends to 0 kind of thing so z is equal to x minus pi by 6 so now x tends to pi by 6 implies z tends to 0 okay so this is good now this becomes limit z tends to 0 sine of z by root 3 minus 2 cos of x is now z plus pi by 6 okay so this is the thing now of course so now we have to expand this by trigonometry so we do that so limit z tends to 0 sine of z by root 3 minus 2 this becomes cos of z cos of pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 so this is root 3 by 2 and other one will be 2 so cos a plus b we know is cos of a cos of b minus sine of a sine of b so this is 2 sine of z sine of pi by 6 which is half okay so this becomes limit sine of z by root 3 minus cos of z minus root 3 
cos z plus sin of z okay so now what so this again is becoming complicated isn't it so let's see something some light in the end of tunnel limit sin of z root 3 1 minus cos z plus sin of z z tends to 0 we get some light now because 1 minus cos z is our favorite so sin of z by root 3 this is 2 sin square z by 2 plus 2 sin of z by 2 cos of z by 2 ok and sin z we can write it 2 sin z by 2 and cos of z by 2 so now we have got some common factor and we are quite happy about it ok so we can write this one as limit z tends to 0 and we can cancel some terms 2 and sin z by 2 because now why can we cancel sin z by 2 this is causing 0 by 0 but again as we are not we are just tending to 0 and we are not actually 0 so cos of z by 2 by root 3 sin of z by 2 plus cos of z by 2 now if you put limit z tends to 0 cos z by 2 is 1 root 3 into sin of z by 2 this is 0 1 ok so this becomes 1 so the answer will be 1 for this problem so I hope now you have got some hold on finding limits of trigonometric functions so if in summarizing the steps are first put the value of the limit find if it is of the form 0 by 0 in determinate form then try to simplify the expression get some common factors out cancel them out and put the values okay so this is how it goes and i hope you understand this and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and tell it to your 